after 22 years. Rostislav Nasrov. All right, these intros are getting a little bit out of control. Last episode, we paid off the referees with a Home Depot gift card. This episode, I'm using a candle holder as a Stanley Cup. We got to focus on our goal at hand here. We have officially done it through all the hardships of this season. We have made it to the Stanley Cup Finals where we are taking on the Anaheim Ducks in a best of seven series for the Stanley Cup. Yo, what's going on, guys? Nasher here, back with another episode of Be a Pro with Rostislav Nasherov. And if you guys missed last episode, you missed potentially the craziest episode of Be a Pro that could ever happen. Game five versus the Philadelphia Flyers, you could not write a crazier game. I scored some of the nicest goals that I have scored all year long. Go for it. Oh my God. Kojak. Oh! <gasps> I was pretty much calling goals from the other team as I was sitting on the bench. At the flick of a switch, Philadelphia can come back. And wouldn't you know it, with just seconds on the clock, the Philadelphia Flyers scored to take the lead, resulting in us needing to win the last two games to stay alive. But Jack Hughes grabbed his backpack and carried the New Jersey Devils to a Game 6 and Game 7 win, and not just any win dominating wins i'm talking 7-3 5-1 and now it's time for the stanley cup the anaheim ducks look at them the easiest ride that i have ever seen in a stanley cup playoff run 4-1 over the golden knights 4-1 over the calgary flames 4-2 over the minnesota wild they do not know what it's like to go to a game seven they don't know what it's like to put your life on the line for your team but you know what we do Taking a look at our player stats here, Rusty, with only 14 games played, still has the most playoff points on this team. Uh, I've just come across some very, very bad news. Uh, trust me when I say this, this is taking me by surprise, probably more so even than it is you guys. Uh, on the other team, for the Anaheim Ducks, a player you certainly don't want to face off against in the playoffs, Alexander Ovechkin is on the ducks hello <laughs> what is going on here listen i have no idea what trade or what could have possibly went down to result in this happening but yes the leading point scorer for the ducks is none other than alexander ovechkin and you know who we have in net none other than brayden holpe could it be the perfect matchup here Yes, it could. Let's go. But without further ado, we have two games going down here in the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm done messing around. All right, we are not going to a Game 7 again. My heart cannot take that. This team cannot take that. We're going to beat these guys in, I'm going to say, five, maybe six at most. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Wish Rusty luck in the comment section down below, and let's hop right into this thing. Now, unfortunately, we are the away team here, and historically, this first game doesn't go great for us, but the thing is, we don't have Carter Hart to deal with, all right? I'm not dealing with any more of those flashing, unnecessary glove saves. It's our time right here, right now. All right, boys. It is official. We out here, and we are grinding. Oh, my gosh. Imagine. Bottom left. Oh my, what a block. Wait, am I crazy? What is going on at center ice right now? Does it say CHL? What happened to Anaheim's barn, dude? They don't even have their own logo at center ice. All right, unfortunately, Tatar is back on our line. We don't have Husey that can carry us to victory this game. So we got to hope that he can do some work on line number two. And we got to get Tatar off the puck as much as possible. I'll play here for the... <laughs> Yo, what a hit, but Rusty's up. Back door. What, 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 why did he just poke it? Again, we have multiple goals kind of going on right now in this series. Uh, goal number one, obviously we want to win the Stanley Cup. I, I think that's kind of uh, kind of crucial. Number two, though, we're not trying to get injured. All right, imagine if we win the Stanley Cup and Rusty doesn't play in the final game. Like, this series just would not feel right if that was the case. Dude, Willie Butcher's kind of lost in outer space again. They've had the puck for five minutes in our zone, and Willie Butcher is nowhere to be found. What a save from Holt. Go, what a win from Nico. We are back on the power play. I'm gonna chill here. We're gonna work the points a little bit. Nico misses the net six feet wide. All right, let's go, Willie. Let's go, Willie. Make a play. Willie! Willie's the worst defenseman in the game. We're on a power play, William. Okay, me and Willie again. Me and Willie again. Willie with the pass. Oh my gosh. Willie, you almost made up for it, buddy. Five on three, and somehow I go to the bench two minutes pass, and we are now down 1-0. 
How does that happen? Somebody please explain it to me. You know what? You know what I just noticed? Alexander Ovechkin, the grade eight, has changed his number to number 12. What is going on? Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on. Let me beat him. Let me beat him to the outside. Spin move. <gasps> I would have cried if I buried that. Let's go. Drawing penalties already. Get in the box, Ovi. Get in there, the great number 12. I never want to see you on the ice again. Oh my. I don't know who's out here carrying the team. Probably Jack Hughes, if I had to guess. And look who's at our left wing right now. A 2-1 lead. A two-minute power play. And me and Hughesy are on the ice with potential to make it more. Go back door, Hughesy. If that's Hughes instead of Nico, that right there is a goal. Let's go again. I'm going to try not to die in the corner here. We're looking for a lane. Hold on. I'm seeing my own lane. Around one. We found space. Bottom right. <sighs> At some point in this series, I'm going to learn how to not shoot glove side because uh, there's something about these goalies, man. I don't know if it's rusty shot. I don't know if it's the goalies we're playing against. Nothing goes in on the glove. Want to pass? Let's go. Is that Jack Hughes? That's Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes shows up every single game, puts the team on his back, and I think he actually sniped at glove side there, speaking of glove side. So what a play from Hughes. you love to see it. And there we have it. Going into the second intermission, the boys have a 3-1 lead. Now, if there's anything we've learned from the last episode, absolutely no lead is safe in this game. I don't care if it's 4-1, 5-1, even 6-1. At any point, these guys can come back and come back hard. We need to dagger them right now. I'm not going to lie, boys. I'm kind of getting sick of getting destroyed this game. All right, I'm going to play a little bit smarter. Instead of trying to go through people, I'm just going to take the puck to the outside. All right, nice and safe play. Boring play. And I still got crunched. <gasps> no, I didn't. <gasps> Rusty! What a move! Jumped off the puck in the corner. Rusty cannot be stopped. 15th goal of the playoffs. Look at Rusty go, dude. I got bumped, lost the puck, took it five hole all day long. That right there could potentially be the dagger. Said earlier, 4-1, not safe. At any point, I could go to the bench and three goals could go into the back of the net. We get back on the ice, it's 4-4. They instantly score. Like, anything's possible. We know that. Let's play smart. Let's play safe. Let's end this game strong. <gasps> what a pass! <gasps> Oh my gosh, I missed the net. No, you are kidding me, dude. That might be the most clear-cut breakaway that I have ever had with Rusty. Oh my, will somebody drop the gloves? Where's the charging penalty, ref? That, oh, that puck was on the goal line, dude. I couldn't even see it. What a save. Okay, things, like I said, man, things are not over yet. We got 4-2, a minute 44 left. You know they're going to be going for a goalie pull here very shortly. If I can bury a quick one here and not give them the chance. Or get Willie Butcher the puck. Nice shot, Willie. I don't mind that. And here it comes. The goaltender is officially out of his net. They are going to be... Oh my gosh, no. Willie with the mistake. Willie, let's go, buddy. Shoot it low. Bang! Rusty with the dagger. What a selly to go along with it. A 5-2 victory in game number one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Rostislav Nastrov with the two biggest goals of his career. None bigger. Okay, there's probably been some bigger goals than that one right there. But still, Stanley Cup Finals, Rusty shows up big. Final score of this game, a 5-2 win in game number one. We can celebrate for now, but a lot of work here is still to be done. Big win for the boys, though. Big game for Rusty. Two big goals. And of course, again, me and Jack Hughes, a dream duo right now that cannot be stopped. This game, though, much like real hockey, the momentum can shift at any time. Now, I knew we were going to be a good matchup for the Ducks. A 5-2 win in game number one definitely shows that. But when Alexander Ovechkin gets going, I think it's going to be a scary time. We got to shut him down here in game number two. We win this one. Go up 2-0. Going to our own barn. All I'm saying is there's a potential of a sweep but we're not even thinking about that all right we're going one game at a time here we go into game number two this is my time to shine we had a big first game now it's time for a big game number two now usually when we get into game number two i'm not gonna lie we let in a goal in the first 30 seconds luckily 
almost had that back to PK. Luckily, we're two minutes in and we haven't gotten scored on yet, which is kind of a historic accomplishment in and of itself. Nice shot there, Nico. Don't mind that. Go to the bench, get back on, and now we have a little power play. Hughes going in alone. Nice try. We got Nico. I'm going to get it up to the point. Let's chill here. Sell it back down. I see you up high there, PK. PK, have a rip, buddy. Oh, Nico tried to find me. Puck's still there. Hold on. Nice play. Dude, can I get some energy bars back? I was on the ice for like 30 seconds. I had a full red bar. I was off the ice for like five minutes. And now here I am with just like an inch of yellow bar over there. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Nobody's going Nobody's going down low for me, so I'm going to have to take it myself. Rusty with a nice move. Back door. <gasps> Let's go! Jack Hughes! Oh my! I am putting the team on my back, dude. Me and Jack Hughes are unstoppable. I curled back and forth 10 times to find that opening. Jack Hughes sitting wide open back door, and you know he does not miss those. I get back on the ice, and now it's a five on three. Now, again, I probably have absolutely no energy left, especially with how I'm getting rocked, but Hughes is doing work right now. I'm going to try to find Jack Hughes back door yet again. You know what, Nico? I'm going to give... Why did I pass the puck to Nico? What am I thinking? Our offensive strategy has changed. I am no longer going to pass the puck to anyone on the ice but Jack Hughes. Now, you may think that's a bit predictable. You may think it is. However, think about Alexander Ovechkin. You know, pucks are just fed to him in the wide open. Dude, I'm the best in the game. I am, I am the best in the game. Rostislav Nashrov is an absolute tank. I'm not going to lie. It took me a couple seconds to realize that puck even went into the back of the net. But you know what, Rusty? I should have known. He doesn't miss those, dude. Wide open in front. Takes it across the crease. No one to be found. They tried to guard Jack Hughes. They left Rusty wide open. And the puck's in the back of the net. These Ducks, man, I'm telling you, they have not had a challenge all playoff long. They walk through the playoffs playing easy teams, winning 4-1 to one pretty much every single round. Now they get one tough matchup, and what do they do? They fall apart. That's exactly what I knew was going to happen, and it's exactly what's going to go down the rest of this series. No. No. You're, you have got to be kidding me, dude. I'm on the bench. And there's, there's literally like three seconds on the clock when the faceoff starts. They throw a puck low. It bounces off of none other than Willie Butcher, who throws it into his own net. That is the most Willie Butcher move that I have ever seen. 1.4 seconds on the clock, and now they are within one going to the first intermission. Let's take a more strategic approach. I, I think I'm going to try to drop the gloves with Alexander Ovechkin. You guys think that's a dumb play? Like, I'm playing decent hockey, but if we can get into the head of Ovi, get him off the ice, there's no way anyone else on their team could score. And there we go. We go to the bench, and we are now tied at two. We do have one, apparently one second of a power play. Coach Justice is on the ice. And now it is done. There comes Steele off the bench. Let's go. Nice hit there from PK. PK wants to join the rush a little bit. Back to me. Nice little play, PK. I'm going to shoot it top right. Bernier with... What is that save, dude? Why does every single goalie come through with the slowest, slow-mo glove save possible? This game's tied up, man. This game's tied up. We got to play smarter here. I'm going to work the point, and I'm going to try to go to the net for a tip. Oh, my gosh! Tatar! No way! This dude hasn't hit a corner all year long, but here we are in the playoffs, Stanley Cup Finals. Now he's ripping it. What a shot for Tatar. The double screen in front, too. No, I'm getting caught from Krug. Little toe drag. No, he's not falling for it, dude. That's actually really good defense. And they pin me and take the puck. Holy, what a play. And not only that, they come down and score seconds later. That, dude, I mean, that's a picture-perfect play by them. Literally everything about that play from the defensive end, pinning me on the boards, going up the ice, instantly scoring off a nice low rebound shot. Okay, we've underestimated these ducks a little bit. This is not going to be an easy series. There we go. End of the second period. Tied at three. We're going to the third with a chance for Rusty to be the hero. We've had a lot of chances like this throughout the series, and Rusty's come up big. Will he tonight? Stay tuned. Let's find out. Right, let's just play some good, solid hockey here. We get good opportunities when we make the smart plays, when we cycle the puck, when we do what's right. Don't call for dumb pucks as I'm sitting there calling from, from Braden Holpe. This could be a low-rebound missile here. Bang. Sit down, Ovi. Didn't even touch him. 
Krug, sit down as well, buddy. That could be a penalty. It is not. We got a guy down on the ice. He just did a front flip to get up, and I iced the puck. Looking for this puck. We're going to try to take our time, pull it out of the zone. That was not intentional, but I might have found a lane. No, I did not. Rusty, don't be injured. He's getting up very, very slow. He is okay. All right, I'm going for a big hit. Bang. We got to get the boys buzzing here. No charging on the play. We are actually playing smart here, boys. Little spin. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> I was supposed to go back door. Going for a run again. Bang. There's one guy down. No penalty on the play, and I'm gone for a B-way. We got a two-on-one. Me and Jack Hughes. You know that this is going in. You see? We don't miss those. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Me and Jack Hughes. Why is Coach not putting us on the same line together? This is the best duo in all of hockey. Rostislav Nastarov, Jack Hughes. Anytime they get an opportunity, the puck goes in. 4-3, I said one goal wins the game. We need to play the most lockdown defense that you can ever see in this game right here, right now. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going in. Let's throw it out. Let's play smart. I'm, I'm probably going to dump this and get off the ice. Let's go. Let's play. Let's play nice and smart. I need my energy or we're going to get scored on. Oh my goodness. A 5-3 win with five minutes on the clock. Let's go, boys. No goals against you. I'm taking a run. Bang. Sit down, buddy. A little bit of an interference. A little bit of a charge. No call on the play. The referees have finally been bought off by the New Jersey Devils. What a save from Holtz. And he's throwing it. Kick that out of the zone. Nice safe play from Rusty. And they called. No way. They called the holding. Dude, we are actually, everything is going our way right now. All right, boys. We got, an, we, I mean, listen, we got another chance at a DAC. Oh, my gosh. Bottom left. Off the pipe. Got the puck back, though. Let's have a no, another go at this. A little bit of a curl. I'm trying to wait for Husey back door. There he is. No, what a pick. Stay out for the rest of this game. I'm going to go for a big hit. Bang. Sit down, buddy. We got one guy down. We got the goalie pulled. Backdoor, Holpe with a huge save. Oh, no. This could be bad. This could be bad. They are just nice save. Holtz, that is big time. Coach is leaving me on the ice with 45 seconds left. What a save from Holtz. Holpe is the best goalie in the game right now. Oh, my gosh. Turn up. I'm throwing it out. We're going for a skate. Get me this empty netter. I'm dragging. No, no, no. Why would I do that? I could have just, I could have just shot it low. They're going to come down. They're going to score. Not like this with another save here we go another opportunity i'm getting in i'm flicking up rusty with another dagger six three rusty there with a big smile on his face and we are witnessing history unfold before our eyes a 2-0 series lead over the anaheim ducks going back home to new jersey oh my gosh they just buried another one while i was on the bench Dude, this team not only wants to win every game, we want to win and make a statement every game. And there you have it. The final score, 7-3. A huge 2-0 win over the Anaheim Ducks. Rusty playing some of his best hockey. Jack Hughes, of course, continuing his run, playing some of his best hockey. And we now go back home with a chance to end this series in four games. Now we know the Ducks are going to come back and they are going to come back strong. But for this episode, we can go to sleep with two wins under our belt, ready to go into the next two games. Dude, this is actually unreal. I'm fired up right now with how this is going, but that is going to do it for this episode of Be a Pro with Rostislav Nastrov. There is a chance the next episode could actually be our last and we are making that our goal i don't even want to go to game five versus these guys but i hope you guys did enjoy this episode big things coming soon if you guys did enjoy it make sure you hit the video with a like of course hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 500k and it is coming up very very quick have a good one i'll see you guys next time and peace